Weldments are a key feature of many designs, and SolidWorks has long been an innovator in providing tools to create weldments, such as this structure, to support the telescope in the Mauna Kea Spectroscopic Explorer. Let's take a look at how this structure can be created in SolidWorks 2019. The definition for this new structure does not contain a 3D sketch. Instead, it is defined with much simpler surfaces, sketches, and planes, making it easier to define the layout of the structure. The new structure system is an advanced weldment environment that lets you create and modify structural members of different profiles in a single feature. Primary members are defined using 2D and 3D sketch segments, points, edges, reference planes, and surfaces. In this design, a window can be used to select the edges of the surfaces which define 36 members without regard for member groups. Familiar weldment profiles are used to specify the weldment cross-section and for this selection, a 10 by 10 square tube will be chosen. Just like that, 36 members have been created. In the structure system environment, members can have different profiles. In this case, the vertical members will be changed to 10 inch diameter round tubing. The web members will be defined using sketch segments and they will be seven inch diameter round tubing. Secondary members run between primary members and are defined by selecting member pairs in this case, the location of the new members will be defined by two support planes, and the chain option will be used to select the member pairs. As selections are made, new members are added between the pairs, located at the support planes. As easy as that, another 12 members are added. At this stage, the members are defined, but they're not trimmed. When you finish adding the structural members, the corner management tool is presented so you can fine tune the corner treatments. The simple corners will be set to body trim so they get coped to the vertical members. For the complex corners, there are more options. Initially, each member is mitered to each other. For this corner, we want the horizontal members mitered to each other and the vertical member trimmed secondarily. To simplify the manufacturing impact, the vertical member should be trimmed flat so it should be moved down to the planar trim box. For the next corner, we can see that the vertical tube has been automatically defined as a trim tool and the horizontal members get body trimmed to it. The top corner will be defined the same as the first where the vertical member will be planar trimmed to the mitered horizontal members. The same trims can be applied to the remaining corners of the structure to complete the corner management process. Finally, the seven inch diameter web members can be patterned to complete the design. The new structure system feature provides an advanced weldment environment that lets you create and modify structural members of different profiles in a single feature with flexible corner management and trimming. This workflow makes it easier to create complex structure systems without the need to create intricate 3D sketches.